what about butyrate? This has been a topic um, that we've seen a lot. In fact, some companies are talking about, oh, I'm releasing butyrate because it's ketogenic, right? Well, what is butyrate or butyric acid? Butyrate is a short chain fatty acid that converts to ketones and has positive health effects. Um, some people say, well, okay, cool. Butyrate, it turns to ketones and it promotes ketogenesis. Why don't I start taking a bunch of butyrate? Now, Ryan and I are scientists. We spent actually years looking into butyrate. We work with some of the best chemists in the world on it. There's a problem. There's a big, major, major problem with butyrate. Now, have you ever gone on vacation and you come back home? You open up the milk jar, and what happens when you open up that milk jar? Uh, you, automatically, your nose cringes in disgust. Why? Why does sour milk smell so bad? Because sour milk is high in butyrate. Now, you're going to start chugging that butyrate, right? Because you think it promotes ketogenesis? No, because it's putrid and it's rancid, right? You're not going to drink sour milk because high in butyrate. Butyrate has a rancid, putrid smell taste when you drink it it burns kind of your throat so because butyrate smells like sour milk is rancid you can't hide it you can't formulate with it you can't put it in a pill when you touch the pill with your hands it's going to smell like sour milk when you put it inside of a shake it's going to burn on the way down when you open up the bottle it's going to smell like sour milk so you can't formulate with butyrate the problem is there's a scam out there where basically companies will say, oh, look, I have butyrate. It's ketogenic. OK, we're promoting ketogenesis. I'm going to tell you that it's not the case because any company that shows butyrate on, on their formula, they're only putting small amount like 500 milligrams and 500 milligrams of butyrate is not going to do anything. Butyrate is made in the intestines. When we throw up, we're throwing up butyrate and it's made in your gut by bacteria. And when you produce it from bacteria, it has all sorts of positive benefits. So instead of tr taking it, what we want to do is promote endogenous production of it. And how do you do that? You need to feed bacteria, the good bacteria. How we do that? Higher fiber diets, okay? So when you're on a ketogenic diet, you're eating spinach, broccoli, lettuce. That's feeding the bacteria. And the bacteria is going to actually produce butyrate. And that's where we get it from.